In this video, I'll show you how to build a simple retro gaming console. With Matrix game, you can play games like Tetris, Necker, Ping Pong and many more. The fun part is not just building the console but a great way to flex your brain to write and play some cool games. So let's get started. Let's look at the schematic first. We have ATmega mega 328 as the main controller which is programmed from the Arduino IDE. If you wish to use a fresh microcontroller, you need to flash the Arduino Uno bootloader with an external programmer. You may also use Arduino Pro Mini or any other Arduino boards based on ATmega328. We will be using analog joystick with a select switch as the input device for the gaming console. The joystick needs three pins on Arduino, A0, A1 and pin 2. The analog pins A0 and A1 are connected to X and Y axis outputs of the joystick. The values of joystick vary from 0 to 1024 when uh, moved along the axis. The joystick will be at home with X and Y values of 5 to L. The select switch is a sim simple tactile switch connected to pin 2 which can be used to select menus or other operations during gameplay. We'll be using two bright red matrix displays with Mac 7219 drivers. The driver chip allows cascading of several displays. These just need three pins apart from power. The output of the first display is connected to the input of the next one. We will simply power the console with three AAA size batteries. Other important passive components are listed on the schematic. You can download the schematic code and other files from the link in the description. Now let's start soldering the parts as per the schematic. First I start simply by placing the parts on the perf board to see how well they fit. Then marking out the sizes on the perf board. I start by soldering the IC base for the microcontroller. Using IC base prevents the chip from getting damaged from overheating and also gives flexibility to change it later if needed. Then we solder all the other passive components, the displays and finally the joystick. Once everything is soldered, it's time to test the circuit for shorts and see if all the connections are proper and solid before powering it up. I went with a simple acrylic case for the matrix gain. You may as well put it inside any other box with a built-in battery holder. I started with mounting screws on the face plates so that the screws that the screw heads stay on top. Then added a few more screws so that the face plate if fixed does not move. Then I mounted the board with the joystick popping out of the cutout a few more screws and the black and the back plate and the case was complete then i took double sided tape to stick the battery holder to the back plate you may screw this battery holder as well now it's time to turn on and play some tetris the tetris port for arduino is designed by marsin I did write the snake game and it was an interesting challenge. I will try and make a separate video on what went into the code. And then I did play some ping pong. If you are interested in porting more games and hacking it, do reach out. Thank you for watching. For more, visit the link in the description for detailed pictures, description, code and uh, all that went into making this. Thank you.